about taking apart a TIPX, the new one. Firstly, remove your magazine. Then remove your cap and your cylinder. Make sure it's not pressurized. Then we've got seven screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one is very, very long. So remove your barrel. And then take out all the screws. As you can see, that's a pretty long screw. Okay, all the other screws are the same length, except the two below the barrel. Those are two short screws. Okay, and then we just pull it apart. Be very careful, there's a lot of springs and stuff. There's some tension on the, on the main spring. And pull it apart. Here we go. Okay, in this half there's no parts left. Take note of this little window at the top, don't lose that. Okay, and that's it. This is the fitting to make to help your cap screw on. So take that out. Your safety button, your trigger. I've got a pin your trigger runs on. This little thingy to keep your trigger on. I use a true arm to keep that down there and let's start reassembling. Safety button, red o ring towards you, your trigger pin, pop that in there, then you've got your puncture assembly that pops in there to your regulator. your ball keeper you'll see there's a slot in the casing for that pop your ball keeper in there and then your chamber fits over that here's your 
e-valve, your spring, your there we go, your hammer, e-valve. like on the 98s and the brothers and stuff just to buffer it a bit and at some force you'll see just turn your air valve downwards you'll see there's a spot in the casing where it that piece fits in Check that everything is nice and clean. Pop back your keeper there. There you go. Then your regulator and your puncture assembly. That just pops in to your air valve. everything fits neatly in your casing then your trigger this is a bit tricky so pop your trigger in there make sure the pin at the bottom fits into your trigger rod and pull back your safety. Remember red o-ring on top. There we go. Your cylinder housing. Now the window. This little thingy is very tricky. But I found with tweezers you can get it back in there. Not too much hassle. Then your barrel cover. This takes some force, but get it in and light up very nicely. Keep everything down, otherwise, you're going to lose some teeth. Make sure your magazine clip is still in there. And that's it. Then you can just replace your cover. There you go. Clip everything back together. Make sure your magazine release works, your safety works, your trigger works, and you are done. Remember, long screw in the middle top, two short screws below the barrel, and just replace the rest of the screws. And that's about all there is to deassembling and assembling a TIPX. Hope this helps a lot. Please watch the rest of my videos and I'll see you again.